Hi friends, in this episode, we will see about the equaling water treatment, how the treatment is selected and what are the water indices required for that selection. The scaling or corrosivity of cooling water is generally predicted qualitatively by the following indices. Langelier Saturation Index LSI, Reisner Stability Index RSI and Practical Scale Index PSI. These indices are designed for calcium carbonate scaling only. Scaling also depends on cycle of concentration COC. The Angeles Saturation Index, Eisner Stability Index and Practical Scale Index are an empirically calculated number to predict the calcium carbonate stability of water. That is whether calcium carbonate will precipitate, dissolve or be in equilibrium with the water. The index predicting the pH saturated at which the pH water is saturated in uh, calcium carbonate. Langelier saturation index is equal to pH actual minus pH saturated. That is pH A is the actual pH of the water and pH S the saturation pH of the water with respect to calcium carbonate. pH S is calculated as pH S is equal to 9.3 plus A plus B minus C plus D. Where A, B and C, D are the empirical constants based on total dissolved solids in ppm, water temperature in degree centigrade or Fahrenheit, calcium honors as CaCO3 in ppm and total alkalinity as CaCO3 in ppm. Here the value A is equal to total dissolved solids in ppm, B is temperature in degree centigrade or Fahrenheit, C is calcium honors in ppm and D is alkalinity of water, total alkalinity of water in ppm. If pH actually is less than pH saturated, the system water is under saturated with respect to calcium carbonate and it will dissolve the protective carbon, calcium carbonate layer already present on pipelines and exposing them for corrosive attack. That is LSA is negative means water is corrosive and we have to select treatment based on corrosion. Sodium chromate, sodium dichromate, molybdate, nitrate and the orthophosphate corrosion inhibitors are effectively used for this type of treatment. If pH actually is greater than pH saturated, the system water is super saturated with respect to calcium carbonate and it will throw out the excess calcium carbonate present in water and the pipeline as scales. That is LSI is positive means water is scale forming and we have to select treatment based on scaling, polyphosphate, polyacrylate, ortho organophosphate, acrylate polymers and copolymers are commonly used. LSI is determined by using five major factors namely pH actual, total alkalinity, calcium hardness, temperature and TDS. As TDS increases, pH actual also increases and therefore the LSI decreases implying that the water is more corrosive. Like uh, Langelais saturation index, Reisner stability index RSI concept is RSI is equal to 2 into pHs minus pH. If RSI is greater than 6, it will lead to corrosive tendency and if RSI is less than 6, leading to scale forming tendency. And practical scale index, PSI a concept is PSI is equal to 2 into pHs minus pH E where pH E is equal equilibrium pH where pH E is defined as pH E is equal to 1.46 in log 10 alkalinity to the base of log 10 plus 4.54 and if PSA is less than 6 scale forming tendency and PSA is greater than 6 corrosive tendency while 0 is equilibrium point for LSA and 6 is the equilibrium point for RSI and PSA based on this we have to select the water whether we are going for corrosion control or for uh, scaling and descaling agent will be used. Now we can see the pH saturation calculation. Enter ppm calcium as calcium carbonate, multiply it by total alkalinity in ppm as CaCO3, take log of the product and store it in memory, enter the water temperature in degree Fahrenheit, multiply the temperature by coefficient. If the temperature is less than 77, you have to multiply it with 0 0.0142, if 
it is greater than 77 degree Fahrenheit, then you have to go for it, 0 0.00915. Add memory to the product store sum of memory, both you have to add it. Enter TDS in PPM and take log. Multiply by 0 0.10, add constant per temperature, that is if it is less than 79 degree Fahrenheit, you have to multiply it 12.65. If it is greater than 77 degree Fahrenheit, then you have to go it for 12.27. Suck that the memory, this memory round off to near by under that PHS, that is a pH saturation. Cyclic concentration COC, number of times the circulating water is concentrated in cooling water is known as cyclic concentration. The maximum COC depends upon the effectiveness of corrosion and scale inhibitor programs and on the quality of makeup water added. COC cycle of concentration is equal to chloride or magnesium concentration in blowdown divided by chloride or magnesium concentration in makeup water. It also depends on the uh, following factors evaporation, E, blowdown, drift, loss, and makeup. MU. Now we can see the equations blowdown plus drift loss is equal to evaporation divided by COC minus 1. And makeup is equal to evaporation plus blowdown plus drift loss. Makeup is equal to blowdown plus evaporation. That P is a blowdown liters per day or liters per second. Cycle of concentration is equal to makeup plus blowdown. Where M is equal to makeup in liters per day liter or liters per second. COC is blowdown plus evaporation divided by blowdown. Where E is evaporation in liters per day or liters per second. C is equal to 1 plus evaporation plus blowdown, but COC is a no units. C minus 1 is equal to evaporation plus blowdown. So we can calculate the blowdown is equal to E plus C minus 1. Conductivity of blowdown divided by is COC also calculated as the conductivity of blowdown divided by conductivity of makeup in water. So COC calculated by either chloride or magnesium or TDS or by the connectivity of blowdown by connectivity of makeup water. Normally in an open recirculating system, cooling is achieved through evaporation of a fraction of the water. When the water is distributed through distributor nozzle as a droplet, due to latinate of evaporation, water is evaporated and cooling is effected. This evaporation results in loss of pure water from the system and concentration of the remaining dissolved solids will be in the water uh, cold basin, which is called TDS. Water must be removed or low down in order to control this concentration of the TDS. And water must be added to replenish the system. Makeup water must be equal to the blow down water plus water evaporation to maintain constant operating level in the system. So that is E is equal to M plus B, where M is the makeup water in liters per second, B is the blowdown in liters per second, and E is equal to evaporation in liters per second. Blowdown B includes discharge to sewer, as is blowdown going to the sewer, and any leaks from the system has a thumb rule for this one, for every or every, each 10 degree Fahrenheit or 5.6 degree centigrade, the temperature drop across the evaporation process is 1%. So we will be losing 1% water through evaporation of the circulating rate QC. He is evaporated. And a 20 degree Fahrenheit at 1.2 degree centigrade, delta T across the cooling tower, then we produce an evaporation loss of 2% of the recirculation rate. That is 0 0.02 QC is equal to evaporation. So that cooling tower Return, temp return temperature and cooling water uh, outlet that is cooling, cooling cooled water temperature is calculated based on that evaporation less is calculated. E is equal to T2 minus T1 divided by 1000 if it is Fahrenheit, T2 minus T1 divided by 560 if it is a degree centigrade. Cooling water associated problems you can see now due to water's ability to dissolve most substances to some extent and its ability to support biological life and every cooling water system is subjected to potential operational problems. These are deposit in formation, corrosion, biological deposition and corrosion. Hope you might understand the 
how the treatment method is selected based on the LSI or RSI or PSI and uh, what are all the important terminologies used in cooling water. We will see the deposit, uh, corrosion, fouling, scaling, biological uh, deposition and uh, chemical use for treatment in the next episode. Do not forget to subscribe or share it with your colleagues and friends. Put your likes and comments in the comment box. See you in the next episode. Thank you very much.